Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Hartzler. I just wanted to show you a little bit about how I set up the breadboard for the winch. This is for Project Lead the Ways, um, Principles of Engineering's Winch Activity 1.2.5, I do believe. And I just wanted to show this so my students would have a better idea of how this is all set up and maybe they can look at it at home and when they get into class they'll know exactly what to do and if they have any questions they have a place they can refer to. Uh, I want to let you know right now that the power supply is unplugged, turned off, disconnected from my breadboard entirely. Uh, so don't worry about me poking around here. All right, first we come in, just so you're aware too, I don't have any red wire. Everything's white or black. So I'm coming in on this white wire. That's my power supply setup right there. And from there, I pick it up with this little jumper, this little white wire, and I take it into, this is for my switch the little VEX button, that's what we're using on this project. Pick it up on this white wire, it runs through the switch, and when the switch is closed, it comes back on this black wire. That sends it to row six. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't quite look like, maybe there it looks a little better, but I am plugged into the right row here for my black wire. I am plugged into row six for both of those blacks. And I hop over here, and I am now in row 10, and in row 10, my motor, this is the, I believe it's a 3, yep, 393 motor for VEX. I pick it up on that red wire, goes through the motor, this is black wire. And now I'm in row 11, and I pick that row up, and I take it over to my negative side. So when the button is pressed, I have a completed circuit, good to go, wench should wind up. All right, there's my setup. So hopefully you can see that well, feel good about it and make yours look the same. Now I'm going to zoom out and we'll look at the whole setup and autofocus, zoom out. All right, kind of all in there. My desk is a mess right now, so please, please pardon that. All right, so I'm going to hook up my um, power supply. I'm going to turn it on. I'm sitting at nine volts. Current is full go so that we'll have a nice consistent supply of power trying to avoid touching the breadboard while we're going through all of this because you know, it wouldn't be good to get shocked. Uh, so far no issues and really there's not a whole lot going to it at this point anyway. So here's my line and I push the button, should wind up and it does. So while you're doing that too, as a class and in groups, students are going to be looking at the power supply. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Students are going to be looking at the power supply I'll disconnect it and I will show you what it looks like for me. This is my power supply. Students will look at the amps, the current that is being pushed out measured in amps, and the voltage at the bottom. And we'll have to do some calculations related to those two numbers. I'll hook everything else back up. It's a cool little activity. And if you look in here as well, it's hard to see. I can see if I can come in a little bit again. There we go. Bottom gear has 12 teeth. Top gear has 32, or sorry, 36. And that sets us up so we have a mechanical advantage of three. So for every three rotations of my bottom gear and axle, that's the one that's hooked up to the motor, this top gear will spin one time. So that gives me a little bit of mechanical advantage, takes a little bit of wear and tear off of my motor. It spins faster, but it has to supply less effort force. All right, that's really all I want to tell you about this little setup. We have, this is a, let me put autofocus back on, sorry about that. We have a large flat piece right here. Large flat piece of VEX. We have the, uh, just all smooth on the bottom. These are two small pieces on each side, flat with a bend on the corner. And it has the little legs on the bottom. There are some that are just L's. These also have the little piece on the bottom. And the big metal piece over here, this is a C channel piece. This is out of the box that has all of the stuff for wenches. Gears, if you're my students, we have those in gear boxes. Motor comes out of the sensors and motors boxes. And the breadboard is in the shortest cabinet, second drawer down. Uh, that's where all the electronic pieces are, like the alligator clips. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. And hopefully, 
hopefully we will have some good setups. Maybe I can put some of this on the, uh, the YouTube channel once some students get things tested. But this is what I have going on in the classroom right now. And hopefully everything goes well on Wednesday is when they're going to be doing this. Have a great day, everybody. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, maybe send me a message and let me know what kinds of things you want to see in the future. Uh, any project lead the way, principles of engineering, and I also have IED. Anything like that that might be helpful, please check out the channel. and Leave me a comment if I don't already have a video. You can follow me on Instagram at Mr. Hartzler and at Twitter at Mr. Hartzler Math. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.